Uh, we had a reported structure fire this morning. Um, came out just before 6 o'clock. Uh, crews got on the scene, had heavy fire involvement, looked like it was coming from the second floor at that time. Uh, they were able to um, immediately establish uh, fire attack, started doing rescue. They did have uh, trapped residents at the time. Uh, they were able to get all residents out of the structure safely. At this time, we have approximately 20 people that have been displaced. Red Cross has been contacted for them. Um, eight units were damaged. Um, four of those units are pretty significant damage. The other ones are fire, I mean, uh, smoke and water. Uh, we do have investigators out on the scene at this time. Can you talk a little bit about right now what it's looking like the cause possibly. I have no idea what the cause is at this time. I have reported no injuries are reported at this time also. Firefighters or no firefighter injuries and no civilian injuries. We did we did rescue one pet that was found on the second floor and that dog was brought out safely. Now when we got on scene we saw a number of firefighters out here on the lawn. Talk a little bit about what went into fighting this fire. Well, um, it's an odd-shaped building, so there was a lot of things going on. Um, we also, this fire went two alarms, so we have double the amount of people here. So it's just a lot of moving parts at this particular time. I see the ladder up right now. Is that for a rescue? Is that to try and attack it from above? Well, it's just we, at, after we went into rescue mode and we tried to make that initial attack, we ended up having to go defensive. So that was more of a precautionary measures if we were going to go defensive, if we were going to use master streams. Uh, from the ladders. Do you know if they were working smoke alarms inside? I'm not sure at this time. Any word of, on whether it looks like this could have possibly started in a particular apartment? I haven't heard at this time. It looks like all your vertical ventilation pretty much made the process go a lot quicker for you. Is that I right? believe that's correct. I believe it did. Sir, as far as the rescue, were the handed residents that had been brought out by ladder from window or what? We had one resident that brought himself out the window, who jumped from the window. There were no others that were come, that came out the ladders. They were able to come out the normal means of egress. Any indication of foul play or accelerant at this point? I have no idea at this point. To the young man who knocked on the doors and made sure that people got out safely, how does the fire department think of this action? Oh, well, you know, very proud of him. I actually talked to him earlier. He was uh, one of the main points of contact for me to find out just to make sure that everybody truly was accounted for in that building. So he kind of gave me a rundown on what he did, and uh, so his efforts are truly appreciated. And had he not acted how he did, given how intense these flames were, when even we got here, which was after that fire had already broken out, describe what could have been had it not been for him. Well, you know, that's a tough decision. I, I'd, be, I'd be hard for me to say, you know, what would happen. I would just say that uh, his actions were obviously positive. Yeah, I believe it was the resident. He just kind of knocked on, make sure everybody was out of the building.